As a little boy, I lived with my grandparents on the Caribbean island of Jamaica. Then at the age of 11, my world turned upside down when I was sent to join my parents in London. I had no idea what to expect or what I would eat, but I needn't have worried. My family were living in Brixton, the heart of the growing Caribbean community where I still live today. My eyes popped out when my big sister Jean took me to the local market that was bursting with Caribbean food. Nice to see you. Nice to see you yeah. too. Well, this is where it all began for me. You did? You remember? Yeah, as a little yes. boy. <laughs> the best thing was actually seeing the food in its abundance. Well, when you came here, though, you'd pleasantly surprised I was. to see the food that we grow back home, that you've lovingly cooked all those years, that we can still get. Yes, you were a fantastic guide. Yeah, I love food. Brilliant. <laughs> Coming here was a revelation. I'd learned to cook in Jamaica, and now I could carry on with the same ingredients here. But if you don't live around the corner from a place like this, don't panic. Today, these ingredients are easier to find in supermarkets. But if you want to cook Caribbean regularly at home, there are a few essentials you might want to stock up on. First, we have thyme, beautiful, delicious thyme. Then we have nutmeg. A bit of ginger always goes down well. Pimento, all spice. For my old friend, the good old Scotch bonnet pepper. And of course, lovely bay leaves. They are all essential flavors in what I am calling the Caribbean Sunshine Kit. And today, I'm using them to spice up a family favorite with beef at its heart. I learned to make this from my grandmother, but I'm gonna be cooking it for someone else who taught me so much. My mother, this has to be good. Hello, Mom, how are Hello, you doing? Hello, darling. Mm. Mama, I'm gonna be cooking you something wonderful and delicious with my beef pepper pot stew with Spiller's dumpling. Fantastic. Pepper pot is a classic Caribbean stew, and every family has its own version. Grandma's uses stewing beef, butternut squash, and sweet potato with fresh dumplings served up in a hot chili soup. There are three stages to this one. I'm starting with my beef and the base for the stew. Would you mind cutting some, some garlic, Mum, Certainly. while I, I dissect this wonderful beef here? Because I think this is going to be fabulous. What I've got here is 600 grams of stewing beef. The key thing is to cut it into small pieces so that it will cook quicker for you. Now, I'm raiding the sunshine kit for thyme, pimento seeds, or all spice, bay leaves, Mum's garlic, and some golden ginger. Brilliant. To these sunshine ingredients, add some chopped onions and stock, then stick on the stove to tenderize your beef. Yeah. While that's cooking away nicely, I'm gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients, and I'm gonna now do what we call the hard food, the provisions. That's the Jamaican term for the stuff that gives your food body. For my pepper pot, that's yam, sweet potato, and butternut squash. Yam's increasingly available in supermarkets, but if you have any difficulty, just add a waxy potato. You know I learned from an early age how to cook healthy, nourishing food like this for mom and dad to come home to after work. All right, Mama, I remember when I was 12, coming home from school in the evening, my friends used to go out playing, but I had to come home to cook real big meals. And when I'm talking about big meals, I'm talking like rice and peas and curry goat and things oh, like that. Okay. Dad used to be a rat catcher. You worked on the buses. So when he wanted to go work, he wanted some real yeah, proper food to eat. My friends at school thought it was hilarious that, you know, I was so passionate about food and about the flavors and about the textures and the feel of the food and everything. Okay, now we've got all that in there. Let's add this to our stew. The last stew ingredients are butter beans, creamy coconut milk, and some callaloo. 
Callaloo is from the spinach family and well worth searching for at your greengrocers. But if you can't get hold of it, then just use spinach. And then, of course, the dynamite. These are the key thing to my Caribbean sunshine kit. My favorite, scotch bonnet pepper. Now, if you like it mild, it's best to use one scotch bonnet pepper without the seeds. If you like it hot, then you can use two scotch bonnet pepper without the seeds. But me and my mom here, we like it really hot. So we're gonna use two scotch bonnet pepper with the seeds. Yeah, I think that should be nice. In you go. Finally, beat a couple of spring onions to release the flavor and pop in the pot. Mom, can you smell that? I can smell Does it. Does it smell delicious? Does it smell fabulous? It is. it is. Yeah. Now, that's bubbling away nicely, but nobody would make pepper pot stew without some Spiller's dumpling. You taught me how to make these, Mom. Nobody makes dumplings like you. This is the final stage. Unlike traditional British dumplings, these don't use any fat. They're just flour, salt, and water closer to the texture of pasta. I'm not really sure how they got their name, probably because they spill over the pot. There's an old saying that if you can't need flour, your hands are rubber. This is lovely. How am I doing, Mom? Is it OK? Yes, it's OK. Yeah, it's lovely. Small. It's very important once you've kneaded your flour to just pop them straight in. And spillers are not big dumplings. They're small. Just pinch them off. There you go. That's a spillers dumpling. Give it a roll. Fabulous, it's easy. Do you want to help me, Mom? Yes, I want yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Mom, I've got to say, your spillers dumpling, they are beautiful. They <laughs> look fantastic. Nothing like mine's. We don't look anything like yours. Just a little pinch of salt to it. A bit of black pepper. Not a lot. Not too much, yeah. And the ultimate pepper pot taste test, my mom, of course. How is that? To blow your head off. <laughs> blow your head off, yeah. <laughs> what is people watching? <laughs> and those flavors are only going to get better. Let your pot simmer till the dumplings are cooked and tuck in. Let's have a look. Oh, tender beef, succulent vegetables, and dumplings in a creamy, spicy stew. Isn't that exactly what you want to come home from work to? Yeah. It's delicious. Hot, but delicious, it yes. Is. Now, Mom, you know, I could sit here and eat this all day, but I've got a special friend that I've got to save some for, so yeah. let's put some in a bowl for him, shall we? OK. That's another trick I picked up from Gran. Cook more than you need. The delicious aromas always drag in guests. This bowl is for an old neighbour from my village in Jamaica. I want his advice on how to spread the word about Caribbean cuisine. Do you mind warming this up for me? Not only does Birchill Whiteman hold a pretty high position over here, he likes his pepper pot hot. OK, Birchill, tell me, what are you doing nowadays? Well, I'm the Jamaican High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, representing Jamaica to the UK. And it's a very exciting job and very interesting and very demanding, but I enjoy it. Well, it's, it's fantastic that we're both from the same little village of content in, in Clarendon. I got a present for you. What's that? Well, it's just a memory of our days back in Clarendon. Oh, I, I think pepper you enjoyed. Yeah, this, pepper yes, pot. Yes, it's... Uh, oh. Well, it was inspired by my grandmother, you know. This was the type of meal that she would make. Ingredients from the garden, in the pot. This is good. Yes. But it could be hotter. Could be hotter. Well, um. coming from you. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> now, if I'm going to be an ambassador for Caribbean food, what, what shall I actually make people um, fall in love with? There are a lot of wonderful fruits that we have that are not really exposed over here. But I think, too, that our mangoes are different from the mangoes that you find in the supermarkets yes, here. so many different names. OK, I'm, I'm going to put it to the test here to see how many different mangoes that you can, you can tell me right now. Come number, on, Bert. Number 11, yes. Bombay, St. Yes. Julian, wow. Beefy, yes. uh, Hayden, <laughs> uh, Fine Skin, yes. Black Mango. Yes. And it, it's, it's, it's one of the areas I think that we should be looking at some more and trying to find a way to bring those flavors here in the, in the, fru in the, in the juices as well as in the food. Yes. Well, let me tell you. I'm having a dinner party soon, and um, I'd like to invite you. Wow, thank you I'm very much. some very special people. One thing, though, you're my friend, but you have to come and cook. 
How about I, that? I knew there was a cat somewhere <laughs> coming in there. So here is here is the invitation. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you.